This is a medium difficulty GRE quantitative reasoning practice question. It's a quantitative comparison question. This comes from the topic number of properties, focuses on this concept of remainders. When a positive integer x is divided by 12, the remainder obtained is 5. So here we're talking about dividing a number, finding the remainder. So this entire thing focuses on properties and key results of remainders. Quantity A is the remainder when 2x is divided by the same divisor 12. Quantity B is the remainder obtained when 3x is divided by the same divisor 12. Let's get started with this question stem information. It says that when a positive integer x gets divided by a divisor 12, the remainder obtained is equal to 5. In any division, there are four quantities to keep in mind. One, the number that's being divided, which in our case is x. The divisor, the number that is dividing it, which is equal to 12. Any division has a quotient. The quotient is not mentioned to us in this question. So I'm going to assign a variable for the quotient that is equal to q. And the remainder of this division is equal to a 5. So let's write this division in a structured way. x is divided by 12. We have assigned a quotient as q for this. And the remainder of this division is equal to a 5. So x can therefore be expressed as 12q plus 5. The divisor times quotient plus the remainder. Quantity A talks about the remainder when some number is divided by the same 12. Let's say that is quantity 1. That quantity 1 is 2x. Quantity B that we are comparing is the remainder when 3x is divided by 12. So let's say quantity 2 is equal to 3x. So let's express both these quantities, 2x and 3x, in terms of this particular expression. So 2x is going to be 2 times of instead of x, let's replace it with 12q plus 5. This will translate to 24q plus a 10. 3x is equal to the same way 3 times 12q plus 5. 3 times 12q is a 36q and 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So we have got the numbers that are going to be divided in quantity A and quantity B as 24q plus 10 and 36q plus 15. Let's consolidate up till this point in a printed form and then obtain the remainders of dividing each of these numbers by a 12 in a subsequent slide. Consolidating up till this point, the question stem, we assigned a quotient q. So x by 12 is equal to q with the remainder of 5. So x is equal to 12q plus 5. Therefore, quantity 1, 2x is a 24q plus 10. Quantity 2, 3x is equal to 36q plus. Let's go into finding out the value, evaluate quantity a. The remainder when 2x is divided by 12. We just deduce the value of 2x to be equal to a 24q plus 10. So we'll have to find out the remainder when 24q plus 10 is divided by 12. Look at it, we know 24 is divisible by 12. So that's known to us. So if 24 is divisible by 12, any multiple of 24 will be divisible by 12. 24 times 2, 48 is divisible by 12. 24 times 10, 240 is divisible by 12. So 24 times q is going to be divisible by 12. So if 24q is divisible by 12, then we can say that the remainder for this part of the division, 24q plus 10 divided by 12, we are finding out the remainder for this part first, 24q by 12, the remainder is equal to 0. So only thing that's left to compute the remainder when 24q plus 10 is divided by 12 is to find out the remainder, we'll have to compute the remainder when 10 is divided by 12. When 10 is divided by 12, the remainder is equal to 10. So 24q by 12, remainder is 0. 10 divided by 12, the remainder is 10. So 24q plus 10, when it is divided by 12, the final remainder is equal to 10. So the value of quantity A is equal to 10. The remainder when 24q plus 10 is divided by 12 is a 10. Consolidate quantity A in a printed form before we evaluate the remainder for quantity B. Consolidate it here. We are finding out the remainder when 2x is divided by 12. 2x is nothing but 24q plus 10. We are finding out the remainder when this is divided by 12. You know, 24 is divisible by 12. So any multiple of 24, 24q will be divisible by 12. So the remainder when 24q is divided by 12 is 0 because if a number is perfectly divisible, 8 is divisible by 4, the remainder of this division is 0. 24q is divisible by 12, the remainder of that division is equal to 0. So all that is left to find out the remainder when 24q plus 10 is divided by 12 is finding out the remainder when 10 is divided by 12. 10 divided by 12, the remainder is 10. So quantity A is 10. Pause the video here. Find out the quantity for find out the value, evaluate quantity B and then compare it and come back to the video to check out whether our methods match. Have you done that? Let's move on to evaluating quantity B. We're finding out the remainder when 3x is divided by 12. 3x we have written it as 36q plus 15. So 36q plus 15 divided by 12. Exactly the same process. 36 is divisible by 12. 
so any multiple of 36 36 q will be divisible by 12 which means that for both these divisions the remainder is going to be equal to 0 so the remainder for this part of the division is a 0 so 36 q plus 15 by 12 we will have to find out the remainder all that we need to do is find out the remainder when 15 is divided by 12 15 divided by 12 we know the remainder is equal to 3 so quantity b which is the remainder when 36 q plus 15 is divided by 12 is equal to a 3 consolidate it again in a printed form finding out the remainder when 36 q plus 15 is divided by 12 which is nothing but the value of 3x 36 is divisible by 12 so 36 q any multiple of 36 will be divisible by 12 if 36 by q is divisible by 12 the remainder of that division is equal to 0 so this portion the remainder is 0 so we have to find out the remainder for this entire value expression being divisible by 12 all that we need to do is find out the remainder when the balance 15 is divided by 12 15 by 12 we know the remainder is a 3 so quantity b is 3 quantity a we know is 10 quantity b is a 3 so quantity a is greater than quantity b choice a is the answer before you leave i want you to do two things one sign up as a trial user at wzko.in/quant so now the most comprehensive and most affordable online quant course for gre get started with the free lessons in statistics averages and data interpretation build momentum to your gre preparation and then you can pay up and unlock the remaining topics which are behind the paywall and second thing i want you to do is subscribe to this youtube channel youtube.com/vizacogre and turn on notifications so you get notified every time we upload a new video until next time stay healthy stay safe and stay motivated